good day let's talk about the characteristics disqualification and benefits of swimming so before we proceed i will introduce myself first i am april kate p Benagodes, a bachelor of science and nursing and a PE student section g so so let's proceed our topic so what is swimming swimming and recreation and sports the poor pollution of the body through water by combined arm and leg motion and the natural rotation of the body swimming as an exercise is popular as an all-around body developer and is particularly useful in therapy and as exercise for a physically handicapped person it is also thought thought for life-saving purposes for activities that involve swimming uh, see also as diving life-saving surfing synchronized swimming underwater diving and water polo so how did swimming start up archaeological and other evidence show swimming to have been practiced as early as 2005 before christ era in Greece and Rome, swimming was a part of martial training and was with the alphabet. Also, it is the part of elementary education for males. And the organ swimming dates back at least to the first century before Christ era, there being some evidence of swimming race, races in Japan. By the 17th century, mm. an imperial edict had made the teaching of swimming compulsory in school. Organized swimming events were held in 19th century before Japan was opened the Western world. Among the preliterate maritime peoples of the Pacific, swimming was evidently learned by children about the time they walk or even before. The next is instruction and training. The earliest instruction programs were in Great Britain in 19th century, both for sport and life saving. Those programs were copied in the rest in Europe and in the United States. Swimming instruction for life saving purposes began under the auspices of American Red Cross in 1916. The increased emphasis of the international competition led to the growing availability of 50 meter or 164 foot in pools. Next topic was all about the four swimming strokes. So first was the breaststroke. So what is breaststroke? The breaststroke is believed to be the oldest of strokes and is much used in life-saving and recreational swimming as well as competitive swimming. The stroke is especially effective in rough water. Let's observe the video played. As early as the end of 17th century, the stroke was described as consisting of a wide pool of the, pool of the arms combined with a symmetrical action of the legs and simulating the movements of swimming frog. Hence, the useful term frog kick, frog kick. The stroke is performed lying face down in water, the arms always remaining under water. The early breaststroke fe featured a momentary glide on the completion of the frog kick. Later, the competitive breaststroke eliminated the glide. In the old breaststroke, breath was taken in the beginning of the arm stroke. But in the later style, breath was taken in the near the end of the arm pool. So next is butterfly stroke. The butterfly stroke is used only in competition, differs from the breaststroke in arm action. In the butterfly, the arms are brought forward above the water. As the video played, the butterfly stroke was brought to the attention of U.S. officials in 1933 during a race involving of Henry Myers, who used the stroke. He insisted that he stroke conform to the rules of pressure as then defined. After the period of controversy, 
The butterfly was recognized as a distinct comparative stroke in 1953. The frog cake originally used was a bander for a fishtail or a dolphin cake. Depending on the up and down movements of the legs, but later swimmers used only two dolphin kicks to one arm pull. Breathing is done in sprint competition by raising the head every second or third stroke. Next is the backstroke. The backstroke began to develop early in the 20th century. This stroke the swimmer's body position is supine, the body being held as flat and streamlined as possible. The arms reach alternately above the head and enter the water directly in line with the shoulders, palm outward with the little finger entering the water first. The arm is pulled back to the thigh. There is a slight body roll. The kick was originally the frog kick, but it was subsequently involved up and down leg movements in the crawl. The back row, the back stroke, I mean, is a competi competition stroke, but it is also used in recreational swimming as rest from other stroke, frequently with a minimum arm motion and only enough kick to maintain forward motion. Lastly was the curl or classic style stroke. This stroke was used in competitive freestyle swimming has become the fastest of all strokes. It is also the almost anonymous choice of stroke for covering any considerable distance. The stroke was in the Pacific at the end of the 19th century and was taken up by the Australian swimmer Henry Wickham about 1893. I mean. The brothers Sid and Charles Cavill of Australia popularized the stroke in the Europe in 1902 and in the United States in 1903. The video played the Curl or classic style stroke was like the old st side stroke in its arm action, but it had fluttering and up and down lead action. We performed twice for uh, each arm stroke. Early Americans imitators added an extra pair of lead action, and rather as many as six kicks were used. The kicks also varied in the in kind. In the curl or classic style stroke, the body lies prone, flat on the surface of the water, which a with the legs kept slightly under the water. The arms move alternately, time so that one will start pulling just before the other as has finished its pull, thus making propulsion continuous. Breathing is done by turning the head to e either side during the recovery of the arm from that side. Since 1896, the curl or classic style has been used in more races for any other stroke. So the next topic will be the following disqualification present in, in a swimming competition. This was the FINA swimming rules as of 2017 to 2021. Next topic was the benefits of swimming. Swimming is a good all-around activity because it keeps your heart rate up but takes some of the impact stress of your body. It builds endurance, muscle strength, and cardiovascular strength. It helps to maintain a healthy lifestyle, healthy weight, healthy heart and lungs, tone muscles and build strength and it provides an all over body workout as nearly all of your muscles are used during swimming. Swimming has many other benefits including being a relaxing and peaceful form of exercise, alleviating stress and improving coordination, balance and posture, improving flexibility, Providing good low impact therapy for some injuries and conditions. Providing a pleasant way to cool down 
on a hot day, being able, being available in many places. You can swim in swimming pools, beaches, lakes, dams, and rivers. Make sure that the environment you choose to swim is safe. Most doctors agree that swimming is a healthy form of exercise. It requires you to use many of the muscles in your body. Is it for building strength and endurance and is beneficial for your metabolism and cardiovascular system? The water provides a natural resistance when you are swimming while also making the activity less strenuous on your body. Water, in most cases, also provides a natural cooling element of the body. An obvious reason for learning how to swim is to acquire the ability to survive in water. At one time or another, you are bound to find yourself in or near water. Whether you are in a cruise, boating trip, fishing or longing by a pool with friends. If the water is deeper than your height and you find yourself in it, knowing how to swim could survive your life. In addition, swimming is an important sport and should be enjoyed by everybody as it has several health benefits. Swimming increases the metabolism and helps energize your body and mind. Doctors suggest swimming to patient after surgery because the density of water takes pressure off of their bones and joints which helps them recover without additional pain that's all and thank you for listening